Alright guys, welcome to the stream, enough of that intro screen, um, so, as you can see by the title, we have a delicious, juicy, booster box, sealed booster box of XY, uh, flash fire, now this is a Spanish booster box, uh, I have acquired quite a few of these, uh, as you guys know, the English set is very, 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 very expensive. And it's still very expensive in Spanish, but it's a little bit cheaper. And the cool thing about the Spanish, because I've seen Portuguese and stuff like that, um, uh, well, obviously Japanese and all that. Some of them, the Pokemon names are in that language, but like with Spanish, the Pokemon name from previous experience, at least we'll see here in a little bit, but from previous experience, the like if you pull a Charizard, it'll stay still say Charizard in English. And just the moves and such on the rest of the card will be in Spanish. So, uh, but I want to validate the authenticity of these. I purchased these on on my own personal money uh, before, um, you know, basically just to take the risk away from Hobby Central. If they're legit, then I'll sell them from myself to Hobby Central, and then though they will be available to you guys. So. Uh, Again, this is basically just to validate the product. It, they look pretty legit. You know, it's got the plastic with the Pokemon seal and everything. You know, I think they're going to be good. But you never really know until you break one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're here to do today. But first, we've got a little bit of an order of business. We do have to do a personal break uh, for uh, my dude David. Uh, he got himself a Battle Styles booster box. So we're going to bust this open first real quick. And then... Uh, then we'll get into the real fun stuff, you know, bust that flash fire. So if you guys are interested, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to do um, maybe five boxes or so, five booster boxes or so, and have them just on the site, just as a sealed booster box. Uh, then they'll be mixed into giveaway, what in the world? They'll be mixed into raffles um, and... Um, you know, stuff like that. Also, I still plan on doing those mixed variety booster pack boxes where basically you buy a blind box full of booster packs. It was going to be a subscription service at first, but I don't think we're going to do the subscription anymore. Uh, I like the idea of a Pokemon heavy mystery booster pack box with guaranteed vintage packs. I think that's kind of how I'm leaning at this point if that interests you guys so uh price is 
probably going to be two hundred and fifty dollars per booster pack uh, booster <laughs> per pack per booster box and also um if you guys didn't notice this isn't like your standard size booster box these this is 18 packs so it'd be 18 packs for 250 um yeah still you know expensive but not near as expensive as it is in english and uh you know yeah so that's what it is and we'll do some raffles and stuff too we'll do a booster box for a raffle so that way you know if that's too steep for some people which is totally understandable you know we'll see what we can do all right here we go let's get into it here for david sanctuary thank you so much for the fiver much 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 appreciated let's see if it goes in and it did what does that mean uh well i guess i guess david gets a free bonus packet Cact cactoon reverse let's get a bonus pack here he actually gets a bonus pack of unbroken bonds i've been opening these daily on my twitter for twitter videos and uh, haven't haven't pulled the Charizard yet. Watch watch one Plinko bucket pack get it right here. Not so much. So yeah. Also yeah. If you guys see the giveaways right here, I am gonna give away a booster pack of the XY Flashfire to both the top donor and top super chat. Um. If we validate that the product is legit, right? So, again, it's $250 for 18 packs. So, you've got a, a decent opportunity to get a pack at a fairly good price if you want to try to donate or uh, super chat. Did I do the card trick? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't remember. I guess I did. Yeah, that was a, a one and done. Right in there, dude. Good job. Spuds is in here. Sanctuary's in here. KV's in here. Venom, 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 what's up, Venom? Benji said hi in the beginning. I don't know if he's still here. I'm going to try to kind of fly through uh, these Battle Styles packs because I know you guys want to see those Flash Fire packs. Same as I do. Trust me, I want to see them too. I'm excited. I am much excited. Finally, we got a hit pack. Sleepy T-Tar in the back. I'm going to just do the one pack and keep it sealed. There you go. Luxray and an Octillery. What's up, Draw? Draw, you know you gotta see these flash fires. Draw, you gotta help me authenticate. You gotta help help me think, you know, identify if they're legit. I re I you know, just by seeing the boxes, I think they look pretty pretty legit. But obviously the cards might give us a better idea. Just pull it right off the back because we know it's a non-hit pack. <laughs> Listen, draw. Listen. We got another non-hit pack. Take the reverse off the back. I'm listening to the stream while driving to get my card shipped to draw. Nice. Nice. Yeah, thank you for everybody. A lot of people have been signing up for the express service. Uh, if you guys didn't know, we're doing express service grading through CGC this month. So if you have any high tier cards that you want to get in on that, uh, I not, I can't remember the deadline off the top of my head. I want to say it's like the 24th. Is that right? I'm sure draw will confirm or deny. All right, here we go. We actually have a hit pack this time.
payments are due tomorrow. We got a Colossal Hollow. Yeah, I've got a bunch of cards I need to send to you. Draw. 22nd to have them to me. Okay, so you need to have them in the mail the next few days. Definitely by the end of the week. What, by Friday at the latest? I don't even know what day the fort or the 22nd is, but it's coming up quick. I know that much. All right, guys, we got the Sleepy T-Tar right here in the back of my hand. Are you ready? Here we go. It is a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Our first hit in this booster box, actually. This booster box is being... A little rough with us so far, not gonna lie. Of course, we're only a quarter of the way in. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse is on the back. 22nd is a Tuesday. Yeah, I would try to have them in the mail by Friday. Saturday at the very latest. Otherwise, they ain't gonna make it in time. Friday's cutting it close, even. I don't know how volatile the USPS is right now. I think they're still having a little bit of issues. We got the reverse hollow in the back. Hey, Moose Tube. Thank you so much for the $3.99. Super. Much, much appreciated. Oh, just barely misses. We got the reverse in the back. Uh-oh, Moose Tube with another 399, taking that top super chat spot away from the sanctuary. Also, it's displaying that Revenge is top donor, but that was from like the first. So Revenge is not the top donor. All right, we do have a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. Bellsprout, Onyx, Spiro, Embroar Hollow. All right, non hit. It seems like all the corners and edges are like really bad on this. Octillery Reverse. Another non-hit. I know you guys are excited for that flash fire. I'm trying to get through it. I know. Intay. What's up, Lalo? almost halfway done with this booster box we've got one v card this is rough I'm not gonna lie david all right we do have a hit pack here come on let's see what we got i think we've got something good back here guys i can feel it we got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. All kinds of Urshifu love. Rapid Strike. There we go. And a Cubone. That's how it was for me yesterday until I started pulling fire. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. We got another hit pack here. See what we got. Shinks. Hey, a gold level ball. Nice. Okay. It's heating up a little bit. Heating up a little bit. Last two packs definitely saved that first half 
of the booster box. Alright. Do you guys want me to add like an option on the site? I guess you could just put it in your in your order notes. But I was thinking with uh with uh personal breaks, maybe add an option for you guys to donate uh donate your bulk to Hobby Central. I've been I've I've got a bunch of it saved up and I'm gonna start selling it off on eBay, I think is what I'm gonna do with it. I know a lot of people aren't interested in their bulk anyways. One, two, three, and four. Gold ball. Very nice. Very nice. Electabuzz. Oof, skipped half the deck. Oh my, Lanta. There we go. Rainbow Phoebe. Things are turning around, ladies and gentlemen. Rainbow Phoebe. Beautiful. I don't remember the value of that card, but I think it's up there. Somebody in the chat, let me know. What's the Rainbow Phoebe going for these days? Another hit pack. Oh, almost forgot you. Spiro. And an Empoleon V. Hey, we're getting hits now, at least. Some Hobby Central slash Hova cards from February are seeing movement at CGC. Customer cards likely to follow very soon. Let's go. Guys, we're going to start getting CGC submissions back. Start doing videos where we get to show off the grades that we get back from CGC. Oh my god, I'm excited, dude. I am excited. I am going to look real quick. Let's see here. Battle styles. Rainbow Phoebe. Yeah, that's a $37 card. That's the fourth best, fifth best hit in the set after uh, Gold Houndoom. So that, uh, that Rainbow Phoebe was a very good pull indeed. This is a non-hit pack. We got a Hunch Crow. 33, says Layla. Yeah, right around the $35 area range. Another non-hit. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, all the... I don't know if you can tell on camera... Like, all the edges and corners, there's just so much whitening. More than I'm used to seeing, I feel like. Crowbat. Come on. What is going on? Bruh. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. Never seen it open like that. Girder. His name is Girder because that's what he's holding, guys. Battle Styles has hella air packs. You should go through all the cards quickly just in case. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll do that for the rest. Oh my god. Yeah, imagine if someone donated their bulk and there was like a sleepy T tar in there. Oof. Mustard and an Orbeetle Hollow. What are you getting phone calls for, Kitty? Anything important, eh? Non hit pack. Alright, the reverse hollow is a Fero. Imagine the first pack we check and it has something. Out of the 30 packs I opened, I had two errors. That's insane. 
That's nutters, dude. Absolutely nuts, butts, and coconuts. Timber. in the Tower of Darkness. Alright guys, we're getting down to it. I know everybody's excited for that flash fire, so am I. We got about six packs left here. Thank you again to David for picking this up. Much, much, much appreciado. We got a hit pack, ladies and gentlemen. Four phone calls in a matter of 15 minutes. Mrs. Popula. Not including a work call. Jeez. Corfish and a Sandaconda. Pokemon has just been rushing in general. I opened three white code card VV packs the other day and they all had normal rares. What in the world? I want to know what's going on with the mini packs, guys. I live off mini packs. And I have not been able to find a single dollar pack, loose or in a tin in about two months now, I think, and I've been to a lot of Dollar Generals and Family Dollars, and I haven't seen one in two months. So what is going on there? They just, may, I'm wondering if they maybe focused all their efforts on, you know, more popular products, 10 card packs and 10 card pack products, you know, I don't, I don't know. Kind of blows my mind. Whoa. A super. Your Dollar Tree and Family Dollar no longer carry Pokemon here? When did they change that? Just Yu Gi Oh! Because the, the, the spots are still there on the shelves, but I've even talked to the ladies and they're like, that hasn't come on the truck in months. Roly coly. I watched someone buy out all the stock of them in front of me about three weeks ago. Jesus. Crazy stuff. Hit pack. Hey, Empoleon V. That is a beautiful card right there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alright, what do we got? Three packs left, I think. Don't forget, we are running a giveaway. Uh, giving away a pack of Flash Fire to both top donor and top um, Super Chatter. Of course, once we have validated that said packs are authentic. That has the same pull rate as Sleepy Titar? What? But like 1 in 800? What's the value on that card? If it's that rare. I mean, I knew it was a hit, but I didn't think it was that much of a hit. My Lanta. I lost my cheat sheet. Where'd my... Uh, Oh yeah, it's just it's about the same price as that Rainbow Phoebe. Nice. So for a booster box of battle styles, getting uh, Rainbow Phoebe and the Empoleon V alternate art is uh, pretty darn good.
September. And a Victini V. Very nice. All right, guys. We have one pack remaining before we get into the flash fire. All right. Here it is. Sleepy T-Tar. Last pack hype. We pulled a rainbow chew. It is a hit pack. We pulled a rainbow uh, Pikachu V Max out of our very last pack the other day. Who's to say we can't do it here with Sleepy Tatar? Hero Reverse and a Holographic Crobat. Wah, wah, wah. We need more sleeves. Oh, by the way, I think I mentioned it in Discord, but I should be having top loaders show up here pretty soon. And I'm gonna have to do. I don't know how many. I don't know how many they're sending me. They just told me that some of them that I had back ordered they're gonna ship. Uh, so what is that? What happened? Yo, D Buzz, thank you so much for the six dollar tip. Much appreciated. So once it gets here, I'm gonna do a final inventory of how many top loaders I have. But long story short, we might have ultra pro, ultra pro top loaders available for you guys uh, through Hobby Central, which would obviously be pretty cool. So there it is. Thank you again to David. Let's get all this bulk out of our way. We can bust this XY flash fire. All right. So much bulk. Bulk, 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 bulk. Dorino. Benji, thank you so much for the $9.99. Much appreciated, brother. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to hear your all's opinions, too. You know, based on the seals and the plastic on these, um, also the white labels, the, you know, the Pokemon uh, seal, I, I, I feel like... From the outside, these look pretty legit. Um, again, be interested to know what you guys think. I'll give you a quick... Little, uh, little 360 of the product here. It draws already happy with the plastic, so that makes me feel better. Moose tube tipped uh oh, it's hidden behind the 399 thank you so much much appreciated rip a common and have to check that's a good yeah that's a good uh i didn't even think about that all right here we go Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ooh. i'm also excited about this because sanctuary thank you so much for the five dollars 55 cents I'm also excited about this because, like I said, I kind of used myself as a safety net for Hobby Central here. These are at my expense until I authenticate them, and then I can sell them to Hobby Central and then sell them to you guys, right? So anything that I get out of here is personal inventory. I own it, right? doesn't belong to Hobby Central, so I'm very excited. Hello, hello. Are we back? We back, we back, we back. Internet dropped out there for a second. Hello, hello. I think we should be good. Hey, okay. All right, yeah. So I was just appreciating the box for a second. I think I might just keep the empty box. The box itself is pretty cool. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, so these are 10 card packs. I wasn't sure if they were five or not. Uh, does anybody have an idea of what the card trick will be for these? Man, these packs. I want to I wanna save a Charizard pack just for the pack, because the pack art is amazing. All right. Here we go. Sanctuary, $5.45. Thank you very much. 
not sure for foreign. English would be three, so we'll try. We'll try the three. Oh, it actually does have. It doesn't have QR, but it actually does have code cards. So there you go, code goblins. Whew. All right, one, two, three. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Luxio. Come on, camera. There you go. Pidgeotto. Beautiful art. Club de Fans de Pokemon. Pokemon Fan Club, I would assume. C Dot. So, this is what I was trying to explain to people. And I'm going to take a picture of some of these cards as an example. But, you know, I, I know people see Spanish and they immediately get bummed. Obviously, English is preferred. Um, but with these, at least, you still have the name of the Pokemon in English. It's still C Dot. It's just the moves that are in Spanish. Skrelp. Good old Scraggy. We might be able to figure out something, Benji. Flip oh, 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 I ruined the surprise. <laughs> I ruined the surprise. We got a Baneri and a Chica del Centro Pokemon. What? I'm pretty sure that's one of the bigger hits. It is. So in English, this is a $26 card. Very nice. I mean, that's... the That's, uh, according to TCG, this is the sixth best hit of the set. So, very happy with that. Unfortunately, with trainers, you do get the Spanish titles. Very cool. Bunnery. Alright. Pack number two. Oh, these open so easy. I love it. One, two, three. We got Nuzleaf and an Iceberg and a Cacti. Hold on, let me get my... There we go. Shinx. Scraggy. A Pinecone. Schneezel. We're getting all the reverse bunnies. And a Weevil non-hollow rare. Low punny. How many of these boosters did you get? Enough. I got enough with the option to get more. So if you guys are into this product and you're willing to pay the price for it because it's not cheap, um, you know, we do have to operate on uh, profit and not a loss. I know that's shocking to some. But uh, I'm as friendly on the price as I can be, trust me. You know, but if you guys, uh, again, if you guys are into it, it's definitely something that we can, we I, I can get a decent amount of it. Ponita. Sneasel. Floet. And a fur, a furret, non-hollow rare. And there's the other Charizard. So here we got both Charizard packs. I gotta have, I gotta have a sealed pack of each of those in my collection. I just got to, which means, ah, uh, because I want a sealed booster pack in my collection too. Maybe I'll calm down and not do a sealed booster pa booster box. I'll just buy. I'll just keep a, a, one of each of the Charizard packs and put it in those nice acrylic display boxes that we have coming. Spritzy! A spur. Gudra. Hollow. Nice. 
Yeah, so if you guys don't know too much about Flash Fire, there's basically like six Charizards, I think. There's at least four. I, I want to say there's a, like six or more even uh, Charizards that you can pull out of this set. There's a lot. What's the price? So I'm going to list some booster boxes, um, and they'll be two, 250 which is still much, much cheaper if you go look at the sold prices of uh, English booster boxes of XY Flash Fire. Trust me, it's... Uh, here, let's look real quick. Well, we'll do it after this pack, but... We got a Spiel and a Caterpie, a Sneasel Reverse... And a Luxray non hollow rare. Let's look it up real quick. And these are 18 card pack or 18 pack booster boxes. Oof. XY Flash Fire Booster Box. Yeah, the current going rate for XY Flash Fire. The last booster box that sold on eBay went for $2,000, 23 bids, and that looks like it's on the light side. It looks like it more normally goes for over three grand. So somebody got really lucky to get it for $2,000. Uh, so average price being much closer to $3,000, $3,000 divided by 36, you're talking about $83 a pack. So... You know, I know that it sounds crazy. Let's let's do the math real quick. So, two hundred and fifty dollars divided by eighteen. You're looking at about just under fourteen dollars a pack. So they're Spanish, but I can get it to you guys at about fourteen dollars a pack as a as opposed to over eighty dollars a pack. So keep that in mind. All keep all those things in mind. It's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not, you know? One, two, three. All right. What do we got? A spiel. Katapi. Ponyta. Discount Magikarp Reverse. And another bunny. We got so many bunnies in this box. Yeah, people keep asking. They're like, why not English? Why not English? It's like, dude. Bro. You're talking $85 a pack as opposed to about $14 a pack. Pidgey looking real nice. Lit Leo looking nervous. Sneasel. There we go. Mega Genghis Khan EX. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes. That was that's I was about to say, like, obviously I want the Charizards in this set. Obviously I want the Charizards in this set, but Genghis Khan. I mean, come on. So this is, in English, this is about a $6 card. And it looks like there's a secret rare version. It's exact same art, but like the border is yellow, is like, come on. We back? Hello? There we go, we're back. Um, I've actually got two of those in English. Nice, KV. Uh, Moose to asked Hova, how are the edges and everything looking on these? Let's see, just just on the commons. Um, let's see, the corners might have a little, I mean, you know, a little bit, but they're definitely cleaner. You guys saw what the battle styles that we were opening looked like. I, I would say that these are definitely cleaner you know, like that one's got a couple, you can see, let's see here. So you can see a couple whitening spots right there on that edge. But this next card, the white, you know, the, the edge is clean all the way down. And most of them seem to be clean. Uh, definitely cleaner product than, like I said, than, than what we were looking at with that English 
booster back booster box of battle styles that we were just opening. Uh, let's look at the back. So it looks like there's a little bit of a whitening on my corner there, on this King's Con. But other than that, I mean, uh, you know, I, I I'd say they're pretty, I'd say they're pretty crispy. So yeah, now that we have validated the authenticity, I think I'm comfortable in saying that these are authentic. I, I think Draw would agree with me. I think you guys watching would agree. I don't want to put words in your mouth. You know, obviously let me know in the chat if you think otherwise. But I'm comfortable enough saying that we will go ahead and go with uh, the top donor and the top super chat here at the end of the stream. We'll get a pack of XY Flash Fire mailed to them you can keep it sealed you can rip it obviously do whatever you want with it uh, but those those uh, giveaways are officially official so uh, if you're interested in those get to get to donating get to super chatting doing whatever you's gotta do you know what I'm saying I see no red flags on these right yeah I, I could rip a common in half if you guys want me to I don't think we need to I think I'm pretty confident Look nothing but legit to me, says Draw. Stunky. Geo dude. Fletching. Discount magic carp. Wow, that golem. So the the reverse hollows in older sets just look way better. I don't know what it is. I think it's because like the art design you like you can see the fists in the background down here. I don't know, just like modern reverse hollows don't look that great compared to these older sets. Like that golem looks amazing. And then we've got the Little Mermaid non-hollow. Got another Charizard pack here. One, two, three. I would really like to see a Charizard. I don't even care which one it is. I just want to see a Charizard. Torkoal. Pineco. We got a bag of dust. And a Snorlax. Non hollow, though, unfortunately. I could also offer these uh, as personal breaks if you guys are interested in that. I know some of you guys are just going to want to rip them, some of you guys are going to want to leave them sealed maybe rip some of them and leave some sealed that kind of thing so Luxio Pidgeot I really like this Pidgeotto I don't know why it's almost like it's got like a color gradient to it it almost looks like a rainbow effect or something I don't know Pokemon Fan Club Fletching Reverse and a Flor Florgus That's a pretty hollow. Not what we're looking for, but a pretty hollow. I think I'm going to tweet the stream out real quick, actually, guys. Let's see here. Yeah, I saw you just hit me with a lot of texts. I don't know what's going on. Everything good? Big dummy today and I'm a huge mess. It happens. It's a Monday. You know how many people we talked to today? We went into town and did some uh, errands. And legitimately everywhere we stopped, I think, man, look at that Rapidash. That was a nice card. I feel like everywhere we stopped, someone made mention the fact that it was Monday and like they didn't have their stuff together. I went to the bank to get a cash withdrawal, and the teller dropped like hundreds of dollars in cash on the floor. <laughs> and she's like, it's a Monday! 
Like, I swear, everywhere I went into today, somebody was like, it's Monday, I don't have my stuff together, our computers are slow, whatever. Man, that's a beautiful card right there. That looks awesome. Camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. Nice looking card, though. And the same exact card right behind it, non-hollow. That's fun. How's the brainstorming for the monthly box going, Hova? Uh, so, Micah, I think what I'm going to do is instead of doing a, a monthly subscription on that, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I might just make it, you know, hey, there's 25 available or there's 50 available or 100 available or whatever. But what I'm probably going to do also is make it to where you're guaranteed a vintage pack instead of, you know, there being a random shot or one in every five will have a vintage pack and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to raise the price a little bit and then guarantee a vintage pack in every box. It, raising the price, obviously, because guaranteeing a vintage pack in every box makes my price a lot higher. So, Benji, thank you so much for the fiver. Don't forget, guys, top donor and top super chat. Going home with a pack, their very own pack of XY Flash Fire sealed. Not weighed or any of that funny business. You know, it, it does me no good to weigh a pack. I, I, I want you guys to get a pack from Hobby Central and get, you know, the the Mega Charizard from it. That that's good for me. That means you're going to come back and buy more product. You know, I have no pro I have no interest in weighing packs and and keeping the good stuff or anything like that. So Lit Leo reverse and a lizard and a lizard. Currently we've got Benji at top super chat 1699 and Sanctuary at our top donor at eleven dollars. All right, we got a croc. Come on, where's that Zard? Give me that Zard. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm gonna do the raffle right after this stream. I'll do the raffle in the Discord channel like I uh, like I normally do. And then we might run a, uh, a flash fire raffle if you guys are interested in that. Ordered something on Amazon forgetting you get emails and I didn't change the name on the package so it's yours. So don't open Amazon packages. Okie dokie. Moose tube with another $4.99. Thank you so much for the dono, bro, bro. It almost went in the hole, which I don't know what we would have done. These are mine. Like, uh, Lit Leo. Dang, man. Where the hits at, Flash Fire? I mean, we did already get Genghis Khan and Pokemon Center Lady. That's the name of that card, right? Pokemon Center Lady. Full art. Yeah. Come on, Internet. Come back to me. All right. Here we go. Pidgey. Caterpie. I saw you guys went kind of crazy on that EV Heroes booster box raffle. Some people... Somebody bought five spots. At least five spots I saw. Sandile and a Pidgeot. We only have three packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can get. Sligu. Graveler. Good old Geo the Dude. Discount, Magikarp, Meowstic Reverse. Let's go! Bro! Mega Charizard EX. Oh my Lanta. That just happened. So there's another version of this that is the, the biggest chase card of the set. The secret rare version of this. 
and it has kind of a gold border. And it's a $255 raw card in English. This card is the same art, just slightly different, obviously. And it's about $70 in English, raw. But you bet your hiney that I'm sending this to draw to get it, to get it graded. Man. We did it. Oh, that's so sick. It looks so good, dude. I think it's very safe to say now, obviously, especially after pulling a Charizard. We got legit product here. We should all be excited. Awesome opportunity for Hobby Central. Can't wait to get some of this stuff in your all's hands. Let's go. Third to last pack pulls the Charizard. Yes. Much fuego indeed, my friend. Much fuego indeed. All right. Let's finish it off here. Moose Tube with another 399. Thank you so much. C dot reverse and a butts of free non hollow rare. There, it finally alerted Moose Tube's 399. Bringing Moose Tube back to the top. Moose Tube and BCB battling it out. Good old Benji and good old Moose. Just going at it right now for top Super Chatter. Currently at $20.95. Top Super Chatter and top donor today. Going home with their very own sealed booster packs of XY Flashfire. That Metapod is actually pretty sweet, even. Let's be honest. Seven Charizards in this set? I knew it was at least six. Benji with $3. OBS, come back, Internet. All right, so we missed uh, Benji. There we go. Replayed the alert for you. Benji dropped a fiver while the stream went down for a second due to the Internet's being... Terra bad. I'm very sorry. I wish I had better internet, but I don't. Oh my Lanta, what's going on? Lalo donated 13. Moose Tube donated 10. Oh my gosh, we got ourselves a bid war here, ladies and gentlemen. Durant non hollow. Quillfish. Moose Tubes. So what's going on right now? Cur currently we got. Oh, that. <laughs> what? That was the craziest bounce. It bounced from the top right down straight into the bucket and then right back out. All right, is that everything? Did everything update? Everything rolled in? I think so. So I'm gonna have to bust open another booster box anyways to pull those two packs. Uh, currently we got Lalo at 13 and Moose Tube uh, at 30 dollars and 94 cents <laughs> lay low really bro says sanctuary um all right so i guess uh i guess we'll call it there if everybody's happy unless anybody's like putting in something right now we can go ahead and call uh the giveaways Lalo came in with a snipe dude <laughs> oh y'all are crazy all right dude that was pretty good man i mean let these are all front page cards. We got three hits out of that booster box. Pokemon Pokemon Center Lady. Well, first of all, hold, hold on. Uh, let's see. The Genghis Khan is in the top. It's in like the top 15 on the first page of TCG Player. The English set. Um, and then Pokemon Center Lady is the sixth card. Uh, sixth best chase card value wise in the set. And then the Mega Charizard EX, the fourth most chased card in the set, with the secret rare version of this being the only thing, you know, being the number one card in the set. I really want the uh, Charizard EX 100 full art. I don't know if you guys have seen it. 
it is amazing the background is like red and charizard's facing away f like away from the card if that makes sense kind of like looking back and his tail's on fire on the front it's so nice uh-oh what just happened i heard it benji with a sixer okay sanctuary with a, a fiver I guess we're still going here. I guess people weren't satisfied um, with the... No, yeah, we cannot complain about that at all, Draw. I, I'm super happy. Should I send you Pokemon Center Lady 2, Draw? Or just or just the Char... I, I, obviously, I'm sending you the Charizard, but... It might be worth sending you Pokemon Center Lady 2, huh? Even if it's not Express? I don't know. I don't know if the card goes for much in Spanish. Maybe I'll leave it at home. I don't know. We'll see what you think about that. All right, I'm calling it there, guys. I'm calling it. That's the that's the winners. We got Sanctuary on... <laughs> Sanctuary said end it now. Sanctuary's top donor um, and Benjamin's top super chatter. All right, so you guys can get me on... Oh, no. Moose Tube just died. <laughs> no. I'm going to feel bad. I, I said that I, I said I called it though. Moose to I feel bad, Moose. But I did call it. I'm so sorry. If I wouldn't talk so fucking much. And then Lalo tip too. Motherfucker. You think what do you guys want me to do? Do you want me to end it now and call the tops? I feel bad. Hey, we got a subscriber, Eden. Took forever to post. Before you said it, it's all good. <laughs> so what do I do? Do I call it? Do I call 